Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I bring you guys a vibrant neon home screen setup straight out of Need for Speed Heat. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So here it is, taken straight from Need for Speed, a vibrant, velocity-filled home screen setup aimed at those car enthusiasts out there. This setup will be running Nova Launcher using KWGT widgets and to complete the look I'll be using the Hex Installer for system wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Next up, let's talk about this stunning KWGT widget. Indicating all of your most essential need to know information is number 18 from the Therian pack which has been modified slightly to match the aesthetics of the theme. Just simply place a KWGT widget layout to your home screen, then resize, reposition and then load in number 18 from the pack. Now the first thing we want to do is head into layer and increase the size so the widget fits the whole of the canvas. Next, you want to head into the AIO item group, head into position and move the widget to the bottom of the canvas as I'm showing on screen. Next, you want to head back up to the overall group and then head into the global tab. This is where we're going to change the widget color from a yellow mustard into a purplish neon. The color code that I used is indicated on screen. Now that we have the aesthetics out of the way, let's have a look at these widget shortcuts. By default, these are set to social media apps. But personally, I'd prefer to have WhatsApp, Chrome and even the phone app here. To do this, just simply head into the AIO group, bot group and finally icons. Now this is where everything to do with the widget buttons are located. Now here we're going to change both the icons of the buttons as well as reassign the apps that they open. For each one that you want to change, just simply head into the button group, then font icon and change the icon to an app that you want instead. In this case, I'm replacing Facebook's icon with the phone apps. Next, staying within that apps group, you want to head into the touch section. Now simply follow as I'm showing on screen to replace Facebook's shortcut with the phone apps. Now simply repeat these steps for the rest of the buttons that you want to change on this widget and we're done. And just remember to hit save before you leave. Next up, a more subtle part of the home screen, the camera ring battery indicator. This is provided by one of my favorite apps, Energy Ring. Just simply enable the app using the toggle in the top right corner and make sure you enable the Energy Ring service within your accessibility settings as I'm indicating here. Now that you have the setup out of the way, feel free to play around with the app settings until you find something that you like. But if you want more customization, there's also a pro version you can unlock. Also bear in mind, the developer has made multiple versions of the app for different phone models, so make sure you grab the right one for you from the Play Store. And wrapping up this setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with purple and turquoise hues across the whole system. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.